And today we're going to be making up and painting a Judge Dredd figure. And this is one from the Warlord Games uh, board game. So they did a sort of starter set with some stuff in. And this is the one of the accessory packs. And this is Judge Dredd and the Lawmaster motorbike. So let's have a look at the box. So you got some nice artwork. And then we've got images of the made up model. So you got Dread on the back and then Dread on the Lawmaster. Rider is removable. Lawmaster bikes can move autonomously because they're computer controlled. Uh, glue and paint not included. And then it, just a little rundown of the, uh, the world of Judge Dread. And then box contains two Warlord Resin Judge Dread miniatures, one Warlord Resin Lawmaster bike, two character cards, one armory card, one big meg. Drop it. Okay, let's have a look. This up. And unfortunately, I haven't got my uh, camera stand running, so to go through this we're just gonna oop no it's all fell out no that's not a good start is it let's have a look so i don't know where the cards are i, I had this out last week and then i've lost half the cards so i don't use the cards for anything so you've got a sort of packing slip in case anything's wrong so let's have a look at the parts okay so let's have a look at dread first so they're resin, they're really well detailed, very nice amount of detail, so I think it'll be fun to paint this one. Then how close I can get in on the face before it goes out of, uh, out of focus. So pretty good, hardly any flash. And then we've got, looks like a two part Lawmaster bike, again very very clean. I like this resin, it's good. Hope it takes paint. Oh, we got some flash to clean up there, so a bit of sand in there. And then you get Dred's bum bum. And body with one arm on. And then you've got the other arm. And then it looks like the bike is in three parts because you've got the handlebars. I imagine that's all got to be cut off. Um, then you get a weird base, I presume. If you wanted to demount him, put him on another base, you could do that. Okay, so the first job on these is going to be to cut the bits, uh, cut the flash off, probably glue the figures together, and then undercoat them. So uh, let's have a go at that. Okay, so yeah, looks like they come off. So let's just snip them off. Yeah, to start with. Oh, it's quite soft, so that's good. So we'll stick this together. Okay, so we all glue together. I've left Dread off so you can uh, be taken off the bike and easily painted. So what we're going to do now is just undercoat them. Uh, probably in matte black. Um, I'm enjoying painting figures that are black to start with. So let's uh, go and do that. So just to aid in painting, you know, I've just stuck them onto a block of wood on the screw and it just means you can handle the figures without worrying about paint coming off. Okay, so undercoated in black. Just Poundland uh, matte black spray. So what we're going to do is just block in some flash on the chin. Not a lot of flash on Dread. So we're just going to block that in using my normal mixture of uh, 
Cadian flesh tones and Vallejo light flesh mixed together. Just gonna do that on both of them. What are you doing? What are you doing? You wanna join in? Okay, so the flesh is dry. We're just gonna put some Reichland flesh shade into it. My cat wants to help me. There we go, let that dry. Okay, so uh, on my wet palette, I've just mixed some blue and black, and I'm just going to use that for the uniform, but I'm not going to paint it completely all over. Let's move that away so you can focus. So what I'm going to do is paint the majority, but leave the hidden parts black. Um, not really used this technique before, so it'll be interesting to see how it comes out. Um, so really all I'm doing, sorry, I've got a cat on me lap. Hello. <laughs> Bless her. Uh, so all I'm doing is sort of picking out the top parts and leaving the creases in black. It might work, it might not, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I've basically. Is it going to focus? Hold on. Are you going to focus? There we go. So basically, I've used a sort of cartoony method. So I've left some black, uh, done dark blue, mid blue, and then light lines of light blue just to give it a bit of a cartoony look. And then I'm going to dry brush. Uh, very light blue, just a light dusting over it. Um, so I'm going to do that now. Uh, and what I'm not for the dry brushing, but I got one of these uh, wet palettes, um, which work quite well, but they do thin the paint down quite quite a bit. So you just got they're great for doing figures, but not good for anything else. <clears throat> okay, let's uh, do a bit of dry brushing. Pretty good. <clears throat> so next I think I'm going to start painting the green. So let me find a nice green. This cat has decided to sit on top of the top of the shelf. Uh, the seat. What are you doing? You're mad. Yeah, now she's going to scrabble about. Uh, right, okay. She's going mental. Uh, so I'm using um, Warpstone Glow as the green, because it's quite a nice green. And then the green is for the the boots, the patches, the cats come in. Come on in. Hello. What are you doing? You gonna take part? What are you doing? She wants to help out. You gonna set my lap? Come on. Come on. Okay, so Excuse me. There we go. Cat on my lap. So I've uh, run the green, I can't pronounce that word, colia, green shade, basically uh, a dark green ink run into the gloves. So I'm going to dry brush the gloves and the green parts with some moot green. Do it all over and focus. See. Okay, so you can see the gold's on there. 
So he's looking pretty sharp. What we're going to do now is run some uh, oh, some MIG line wash into the the eagle and the shoulder pad, and then we're going to paint the red outline on his uh, visor. And I think it's just the brown for the nightclub, and that's pretty much done. Uh, same on this one, and we can start on the motorbike. So. Okay, so I think I'll do the engine parts first because they'll require a fair bit of dry brushing. And then, because if we did these parts first, dry brushing over it would ruin it. So I'm going to leave them black and I'm going to dry brush it quite heavily with gunmetal or lead belcher, is what Citadel call their gunmetal. Look too bad. Um, so what I'm going to do then is paint the tires black because they've had a bit of overspill, and then paint this in the glossy blue. This color. Okay, so. I painted the blue, so I used um, Vallejo Air, uh, which is really super thinned for going through an airbrush, but it does mean it's it's given a nice sort of almost inky effect to the paint, so I like that. So what I'm going to do now is paint the gold, um, so it's gold on the top, gold on the back, and then the silver for the, uh, the exhausts. Um, and then the red trim, bit of dry brushing, and it's almost going to be there. So actually, I, was, I thought there'd be a quite a bit to paint on this bike, but there's not that much. So let's have a look, see how the gold goes on. Hopefully it will apply nicely. And obviously, might need a couple of coats, and then we'll, uh, we'll run the black wash into it, because that works really well on the figure. Okay, so I'm going to finish painting that, and we'll come back. Okay, so I finished painting them. Let's have a look at uh, Dread on his own first. Weirdly, the base shattered when I was getting it off the screw. I might have put too much uh, super glue on it, but uh, so I've just glued him onto this old base I had. Uh, I've not finished painting it yet, so he's just temporarily on there. So as we can look at him, so I... hello, it's a cat again. Hello, you heard me talking. Sorry about that, I got bullied off my chair by my little cat. Technically, I suppose it's her chair. So, we were having a look at Dread. You gonna focus? So, I've um, given him a little bit of a satin varnish coat over his uniform, so I think it looks a little bit flat, but left everything else matte. So, I think he's come out rather nicely. Lots of detail on these uh, figures. So ink washes and that work really well. So I'm really pleased with him. And then the bike. It's a really nice bike. I've got a, an older, I think Games Workshop, Dread on a bike. Uh, I'll grab it out. Actually, let me go and get it now. Okay, so this is my old, I think it was Games Workshop. It's a really old figure. Um, I painted it when I was much younger. Um, probably do with a repaint but I don't like repainting my old models like this because I want them as a to show that yeah my skills have come on a little bit it's a weird pose as well at least look at that back leg um so that's sort of the old Brian Boland style lawmaster uh this one I think is much sleeker much neater uh, dread comes off 
in a cool chopper pose. Chopper the bike, not chopper the 2000 AD character. Uh, the other figures I've got, which I found out, uh, were these ones. I think they were done by 2000 AD themselves. I remember buying a mail order. Um, they're really nice figures at the time. They're lacking a bit. Again, pardon the terrible paint job. These I might, I don't know, I might repaint these. So I got Dread, Death, that's a good figure. Very evil pose. Uh, Mortis, I like that one. I don't know why I did them yellow and not gold. Probably didn't have any gold paint. Fire, it was quite a difficult one to paint when I was a little kid. There's nothing on them. I'm sure they were 2000 AD. Um, he was from the uh, Cursed Earth, I can't remember what his name was, good character, Tweak, something like that. Uh, judge Cal, the Mad Chief Judge, and good old Mean Machine. I think these were done, I think I might have repainted these after I did the original, this one, because I think they paint jobs slightly better. Um, but they're, they're all my old dread ones. I used to have loads of them for the game, got rid of them. But these ones are really nice and they were, they were quite cheap. I think they, the, the set was only about 12 quid, something like that, for two nice figures. Incredibly soft and um, brittle resin though, so you've got to be really careful, especially like these handlebars and the stand broke. But uh, yeah, lots of nice detail. You could do a nice little diorama. He does actually grip them, but I'm just worried in case. I'm going to glue him on, probably. I'm just worried in case it uh, snaps out. But yeah, if you want to see more gaming miniatures like this, let me know. And uh, I've got quite a few that I haven't built up. Um, big pile of kits, and so we've got time to do it. But uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you can. And uh, let me know what uh, figures you've got. I remember they did some... Like the, you remember the, the fat characters that had belly wheels? I remember I had one of them, he was hollow metal. Oh, weird. The memories that come back. But thanks for watching, I'll see you again next time. Thanks then. Bye.